In this video, we will introduce how to use star and slash to make your Python function arguments look neater and learn a flexible way to pass function arguments in Python. By default, we can pass data to functions by positional or keyword arguments in Python, which makes functions very flexible to use. For example, we can call this simple echo function, which simply prints the input arguments using positional or keyword arguments, as long as keyword arguments are put after positional ones. All of them will work and will give the same result. This is nothing new. Now let's learn something new. In Python, arguments placed before the slash symbol in the function definition must be passed as positional arguments. Let's update the echo function to use a slash to separate the arguments. With this update, x can only be passed as a positional argument, while y and z can still be passed as both positional and keyword arguments. And if x is passed as a keyword argument, a type error will be raised, which says echo got some positional only argument passed as keyword arguments for argument x. On the other hand, in Python, arguments placed after the star symbol in the function definition must be passed as keyword arguments. Let's change the slash to star in the echo function. Now x can be passed by both positional and keyword arguments, but y and z must be passed as keyword arguments. Even when x is passed as a positional argument, otherwise a type error will be raised. A very useful feature of the star symbol is that it allows you to put arguments with default values before those with no default values to make the arguments look more organized. For example, we can give a default value to y and still put z after y using the star symbol. This is valid syntax in Python and is commonly used in third-party libraries with complex function arguments. Now both y and z must be passed as keyword arguments and y has a default value. We can also combine star and slash to define a function with some arguments being positional only and some keyword only. In this case, x is positional only and y and z are keyword only. The arguments must be passed accordingly to avoid type errors. In this video, we introduce the use of the star and slash symbols in function definitions, which have the following interesting utilities. Firstly, they can make some arguments positional only and some keyword only. And secondly, we can put arguments with default values before those with no default values to make the arguments look more organized and easier to use. This is it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my channel for more content.